one of the confusing things about life is how many nice people help destroy societies. The human being is a macro and a micro being among the many, many differences within each of us. There were undoubtedly many nice slaveholders in the South. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the GOP sure has some weird figures, all of them. The politicians, the media, the donors, they all have some very strange beliefs, too. COVID deniers, climate change deniers, Holocaust deniers, all sorts of very peculiar, very false beliefs. Compared to that, Dennis Prager saying that there were many nice slaveholders in the South is just another Monday. For me, that's completely insane. For them, it's an easy pill to swallow. If you had been invited to one of their homes, you would have been treated beautifully. But they supported a vicious system. The left is a vicious system. It's not slavery. Although the end result of all leftism is the enslavement of populations, not as in transatlantic slave trade or chattel slavery, but in the diminution of human rights and liberties, which is a form of enslavement. Of course, for the far-right conservatives, a little return to tradition couldn't be so bad. Sometimes idealizing the 1950s isn't enough for these guys. They need to go far, far back to the days of chattel slavery, when we had people enslaved in this country, when we had a democracy that excluded almost everyone, which cannot be called a democracy at all. We think that people who do bad things either think they're doing bad and so they're they're truly evil or they will be obviously bad in in interpersonal relations but it, it doesn't work that way nice people can support vicious things that's not to misinterpret Prager's words. He's saying that the context of nice people in bad systems, to him, these slaveholders were just nice people that participated in a bad system. I just can't agree with him. The days of slavery in this country and worldwide was incredibly cruel and riddled with insane soul-crushing abuse. Slaveholders treated other human beings like they were cattle. The only people they were nice to were their other colleagues, the other slaveholders. What do you mean slaveholders were nice people that would treat ki guests kindly? Which guests? Because you sure know that anyone who didn't belong to their ruling class was treated inhumanely. Maybe Dennis Prager's existence has been so easy that he fundamentally can't understand that. He sees nice people in the bad systems because he's the exact type of person creating that whole system. He's never been at the other end of the violence, so he's blissfully ignorant of it. He never became aware of his own place in the world. And he preaches this type of anti-intellectual, a historical nonsense. Prager is a head of Prager U, which creates conservative far-right propaganda for children. This man isn't just some fringe idiot with no sphere of influence. He's making pseudo-educational political content for kids. Young people in this country are listening to his rhetoric. It used to be first up on the YouTube algorithm aimed just for kids, up until many of their videos got taken down for disinformation and hate speech. They took the case to court and lost. That's how wrong this man and his beliefs are. But the GOP relies on false beliefs and narratives to maintain its base. They don't have anything else. There's no two sides to the story, not anymore. There never really was. There's the truth, the fact that all of this deserve equality and liberty in the world, and then there's the lie. The story that these and bigots came up with to justify their own evil actions. The GOP is on the wrong side of history, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.